This video contains content sponsored by John Wilson Blades and MK Blades. Opinions discussed in this video do not reflect the views of John Wilson or MK. Welcome to the skating lesson. You obviously just had a very successful afternoon for you. Talk about Mariah Bell. Last year, you were in a hallway in an arena at Nationals. She did four double toes for about an hour trying to console this girl that she would skate again and be successful. You've obviously had a big role in this. So just talk about what you tried to bring out of her, how you've tried to mentor her over the last year. Um, it's been, you know, one, keeping her focused on the big picture, not getting so involved in the little details, little things, um, keeping it unemotional for her, trying to just keep it more business, let's just think long run, 16 months, not right now. Um, the other thing was just basically trying to find ways to make her more comfortable while she's skating. So like the music choice this year, it was a little easier for her to skate to versus last year's choice. It was a little more intense and I think it was maybe a little bit more difficult for her to have that natural joy. So this year we wanted to go with something that would be a little more natural and a little bit more fun so that she could actually like enjoy skating because that's when she skates her best. So. Well, people will comment that they see Nancy Kerrigan in her skate or, you know, the short, sassy, or are you thinking of those skaters when you choreograph? What are you trying to bring out of her? I think I want her to be that sweetheart girl next door that everybody wants to be, wants to know, and, mm -hmm. and she's not a diva, she's mm -hmm. literally a sweetheart, you know what I mean? But she can be if she wants, but, mm -hmm. you know, very understated. Mm -hmm. You know, simple, classic, elegant, regal, like Jackie O. Okay. And that's what we're going for. <laughs> now, what's interesting <laughs> is that everyone sees you as fun, Rohit, who you're going to get the choreography, if we were going to skate to Beyonce, but I have heard that you are the bad cop with Mariah Bell and that you will bust her both in Colorado and when you visited her with Raphael. Is that true? Because I have heard that you can be the bad cop in the ring. I am, actually. I, I, you know, that name has followed, that, that has followed me for a while. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, but she needs it sometimes and I don't mind being the bad guy as long as the outcome is greater. Mm -hmm. You know, and as long as she feels good about it when we're done. It's not like I'm like, okay, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. It's more like, come on, you can do a little bit more. You can go a little bit harder. You can go a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So it's just it's me being that, that really the good cop that has to be the bad cop on the inside saying you're better than you think you are. Mm -hmm. You can go further than you know you can. Mm -hmm. And that's really where that comes from for me with her. Because I'm... I know that she belongs on the podium on top. Mm -hmm. She does. I guess where do you see her potential? You know, going in eighteen mm -hmm. by the end of this year. By nationals, Absolutely. okay. Absolutely. There is no reason why she couldn't. Mm -hmm. And I guess to talk a little bit about Jason, uh, he had a good short program today, yeah. putting the quad out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, we didn't see too much of him last year no. yeah. because of the injury. You know, where is he in your development? Obviously, you Olympics. 2014, you had the iconic program, Olympics coming up yeah, again. Yeah. Are you thinking about that? What of you course, I already have music for the short. I already have music for the long. We're going to start choreographing it probably in December. Okay. So that, because he usually does really well when he's had his programs longer, a longer period of time. So we usually are keeping programs for two years. Mm -hmm. So since he's going to get two new programs next year versus keeping one or the other like mm -hmm. we normally do. I'm gonna start them earlier in the season so he can just run them as the season still is. He's still doing his other programs for competitions that we're already marinating it, letting it marinate, and like getting him comfortable. In. And um, no, I won't tell you where we're going directionally. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about ice dance because you also have an ice dance team. Yeah. Uh, first of all, the haunted program last year, Rohin. Uh, Rohin, just walk us through uh, how did you come up with this? And was it a hard sell on Madison Track? No. Okay, well, actually, we accumulated we came up with that piece together. We were literally at the OTC during Champs Camp and we were like, let's pick some music. Like, let's just sit down and pick music. So we were literally in the lobby of OTC and we were going through Fifty Shades of Grey, we were going through Beyonce, we were going through, you know, anything that was different outside the box, Sade. Like, we were listening to all types of stuff and um, collectively we came up with Haunted. And it, we, we felt like it was, one, it would be sexy, it would be fresh, it would be, you know, just outside their comfort zone, but something that's so natural for them. You know what I mean? When I say outside their comfort zone, I mean, I guess people don't expect it of them, but even though it's very much in their realm. How much did that play into your decision to do a more fun, you know, program for them for the short dance this season, a bit of a departure they went? I mean, 
And, I mean, a lot, obviously. And we, it took us a long time to pick music. I mean, we went through multiple ideas. And um, eventually we just wanted, you know, we wanted it to be hard. We wanted it to be edgy. We wanted them to be, we wanted them to really, literally, like, set themselves apart mm -hmm. from everybody else and, and have their own style, their own skating. Like, not, the tip, you know, like, Igor is great with classic. Like, that's classic. Like, he's so great at that. And I think that they're really good at that as well. But... We've seen that so much. Do you miss the Ice Dance Divas? What do you mean, Ice Dance Divas? They're still there. Yeah, but they're all nice now. It's not, I mean, the Russian girls, when you were growing up, they were... You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of a diva. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of a diva like that. Mm -hmm. no, I, On the ice, I, no. no okay. I like people that are humble, that can mm -hmm. share their gift and do it, mm -hmm. and, be, and do it humbly, and, mm -hmm. you know, with some integrity. Mm -hmm. You know, but as far as you know, Maddie and Evan are concerned. You know, they worked really hard this year, and I've spent quite a bit of time up there in Detroit. So, mm -hmm. oh, it's been quite well. Well, let's talk about what's next for you because you had. You're, I know you're skating to Prince. Yeah, you yeah, next week, yeah. You also had a program <laughs> that I think the moment you skated it, I my phone blew up that you were rolling on the ice in a nude colored onesie. <laughs> what is your next program, Rohin? What is next? For you. Well, speaking of rolling, that's how me and Maddie started the haunted program was by rolling on the ice in the dark. <laughs> I her off. I was like, let's just play. But on another note, um, I'm doing Prince this year, mm -hmm. so I'm doing a, a Prince medley, basically a tribute to Prince. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm from Minneapolis, so he's dear to my heart, and um, that's where I am. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, it's um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a little Prince medley, mm -hmm. do about three or four songs, and. Shake my bum bum a little bit and try not to die in the process. <laughs> well, your look is, you were saying last night that your look is more subdued for you. What are you going to wear for the Prince costume? What? I'm wearing a purple jacket, ruffles, black buttons. What color are the nails going to be, Rohan? These. They're going to be normal. It's so subdued for you. I have no nails. You had some color last year. Huh? Purple nails, yeah. but I have a purple jacket on. Jacket. Yeah, I'm gonna, have a, I'm gonna have a lovely purple jacket on. We wish you the best of luck. We'll see you next Thank weekend. You. Thank you.